Do you ever see a painting or a film or a book or a piece of art so stunning, so moving that it, it kind of makes you choke up a little and an artichoke, if you will? My dear friends, today we're doing what might very easily be the last thing I'll ever cook in this apartment. We're going to be roasting some artichokes in a very artful way. First things first, preheat your oven to my favorite temperature, which is 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Something weird in Celsius. Put the rack in the middle. Before we even get into our seasonings or our spices, which by the way will be sumac, za'atar, garlic, lemon, shallot, salt and pepper. Let me show you how to properly prepare the said artichoke. This takes a little um, surgical precision. And by that, I mean you just slice them up. I like to use a bread knife, a smaller knife, and a spoon. First things first, you wanna just knock off the thick, ugly ones on the bottom. The oven is on. It's hot, man. If you're like me and you buy organic artichokes, they may be a little dirty with dirt. So just give them a rinse, actually, not that I see them. Maybe I should have done this before. Don't look at my shorts. So you grab your artichoke. And look, I'm the Statue of Liberty. You wanna cut off the base, the stem. And you wanna leave it so that they can stand up on their own. Step two. I always forget step one. Step one, find the worst play ever written. We're not done yet. Make it look like this. Then you slice that down the middle. And here is where it gets really messy. So with this little knife, I'm gonna do a slice here. And I just kinda all the way down this way. And what we're gonna remove, we're gonna remove all this, because this is none of this is edible. Then you grab your spoon and you just clean it up. The back of the spoon might also do it, the handle might also be very useful. I believe these are called hairs. Give me down hair there, shoulder left. So you want it to look like this. You wanna have a cavity. And then you put it aside. Because it's done. Now you're gonna repeat the, no the process ad nauseum. You might wanna do this over the trash can, actually. How many artichokes should you make? Uh, um, at most, one per person. They're, they're delicious, they're just, they're, they're, they're not an easy eat. They're, they take time, they take experience. You know, you gotta know what you're doing. Do you dip, do you not dip? More of a commitment than a snack, really. Is this camera vent off? Am I gonna miss this apartment? Yes, the physical space is wonderful and it gets great lighting. The story of LA real estate. It's the right place in the wrong location. Let me spend, let me spend $20 million on a house with no privacy and no parking. Spoon! I used to get trouble in like, like third grade. Because my handwriting sucks. So, I used to get in trouble in third grade. And my teacher would call my mother and say, so Sophia, your son writes his name on the corner of the paper. He writes it like autograph style. But actually, it wasn't a signature. I just have really messy handwriting. Okay, sorry, fuck. All right, boom. We is done. Let me just clear this off. So now that they all look pretty, oh so pretty and witty, now the fun begins. One lemon. Squeeze that baby all over the artichoke. Next, kosher salt. <laughs> pepper. Or as they say in France, pepe, le pie. We need garlic. One garlic clove per artichoke. And you're just gonna grab your garlic clove and just nestle it. Just stick it right in there. Do that as many more times as I'm required. Obviously, you can use garlic powder. I don't know why you would for in this occasion. I guess you can do whatever you want, and I can't stop you. Boop. Next, you grab your handy dandy olive oil. And you wanna generously douse these. Gen like you want it to pool in the middle with the garlic. You want the garlic to be in a jacuzzi, a little geyser, a little bowl of area oil. Bon. And now, you get to make them little beds. Aluminum foil. Grab one. Boop. 
like so. This keeps them from burning. The artichokes really appreciate it. Careful not to cut yourself. Right. Et voila. Uh, your oven is preheated to 400 degrees like I told you before, so if you would listen to me, be done by now. Just put these in there for about 35, 40 minutes until they're nice and soft and yet somehow crispy. We will see you in 35, 40 minutes. Okay, it's been about 40-ish minutes. 38. These are done. They smell fantastic. Oh yeah. So before you do anything with the actual artichokes, I knew I needed my knife. I went ahead and prepared some thinly, thinly, thinly sliced shallots. And I prepared some dill strands for you dilettantes out there. Carefully, slightly open this up and extract the garlic that we have in there. Woo! Yeah. These stay hot for a long time and they heat up again really well. Okay. That is that. Next, you wanna move them from the tray. You're gonna serve them on another tray, a serving tray perhaps, or it's just a plate. I'm gonna do one for you. Careful. Very carefully. So you want you want that olive oil in there. Grab some of the shallots. Well, no. Sumac. Put that on top. A little bit of the shallot pieces. Throw that some in there. Some of the dill. Dill. Do's and dill. Don't. Slice up some of this garlic. Ooh, the garlic is hot. On the real recipe from the Mediterranean dish, our friends, they make a vinaigrette that you kind of drizzle on top. I can live without it. And then I just drizzle it a little bit more. Drizzle some of this new garlic on top. Maybe a little more shallot. Make it look pretty. Of course, if you need it, a little more olive oil. And you're done. That's it. Got a roasted artichoke. Six of them. Eating an artichoke is like legitimately not easy. How do you, what do I do? On the bottom. Ooh, they're warm. Mmm. What part is edible, what part isn't, I'm still not exactly sure. But I like to eat the leaves first and then the, I wanna call it the heart, it's not the heart, maybe it is. It's very, it doesn't need a dipping sauce, I don't think. Because of the oil and the garlic. It's delicious. I would, I wouldn't eat this on a first date. My phone ringing. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That was great. I'm gonna go pack. 